So now that we've set up our experiment, our mice will entrain to 12-12 LD cycle, which is again, lights on for 12 hours, lights off for 12 hours, just like they were in the colony. After recording their real running behavior for 13 days, we'll put them into continuous darkness, which we call DD. We do that to unmask their internal biological rhythms. So without any environmental light cues, the only thing able to tell time is their internal biological clock. From the behavior of the animal, we can determine characteristics of the mouse's biological clock, such as its period. We'll continue to monitor activity in continuous darkness for 20 days. On the seventh day of that 20-day cycle, we'll provide a light stimulus of about 100 lux, which is normal room light intensity, for 60 minutes at circadian time 14, or CT14, in order to observe the effect that the light pulse has on their activity rhythms. CT14, or about two hours after activity onset, is early in the mouse's internal sense of night. Whenever the mice run, data are collected by counting every half revolution via the magnets located on the wheel. Counts are accumulated and reported as activity over a defined time interval. In this case, data are accumulated in six minute bins. The sensor placed above the wheel can detect the passing of the magnets as the wheel revolves. Information is collected through the sensors using a program called VitalView, which monitors wheel running and dependent on the experiment, other types of measurements from many different animals. All of the incoming data is logged by the data collection computer. So the duration of the experiment can be anywhere from four weeks to several months. Typically, you'd want to end the experiment before the age of the mice becomes a confounding factor. So as mice age, they typically begin to run less and exhibit overall less activity. In this experiment, we'll be collecting data for 32 days. So now that we've set up our experiment, what do we do while the experiment's actually running? Well, usually every day, one of the researchers in charge of the experiment will check the data through VitalView to make sure that there are no data inconsistencies. This can usually mean that there's some kind of problem either with the data collection or sometimes with the animal. Other potential problems could include the water bottle could leak and sometimes flood the bottom of the cage. It could also be that the wheel gets blocked. Sometimes the food divider can't come forward and stop the wheel from progressing. There could be a technical malfunction in our data ports, in which case one or maybe even more than one channel is not recording data, and so troubleshooting would be needed. There could be sometimes a power outage, in which case we would need to reset our data ports to make sure that all of our channels are collecting data for our experiment. Sometimes there can be lighting inconsistencies, so we do check the timers daily to make sure they're calibrated correctly to make sure that all the mice are on the lighting schedule that they're supposed to be on. It could be that the mouse doesn't want to run for whatever reason, um, in which case sometimes very early in the experiment we can switch out a mice, but generally it just means that we might not include that mouse in our data. Additionally, a vet technician comes around every day to check the health and well-being of our animals. And uh, we cage change the mice once every three weeks. So we change out their bedding and their water to make sure that they have fresh supplies.